Uh, I'm going to hop off and I'll jack with the rest. All right. It's all me. I'll do it. Anyway, guys, getting into it here with Charlie King and Master Mario. Mario versus Wolf. Mario. Two player. These players have yeah played each other a lot. I always say that, but um, it's it's true. From I mean, Master Mario. I still remember in Smash 4 when he was lower on the PR, but definitely making results with Mario, and he's definitely improved and, and got on his way up. Uh, and Charlie's kind of always been there as well. So, it, I mean, these players have played each other for years. Oh, that was actually pretty sweet. I know, I think, uh, sorry, Charlie was playing Mario for a while. Um, just a little bit. He wanted to pick up the character, but now he's settled back in on Wolf, um, which is good for the, him. I think he really likes this character. And, uh, it's uh, good to see him settle back on this character. Now, I'm gonna move Vance's headset off the monitor because it's currently uh, blocking my view. But uh, you know, Wolf Mario is hard for um, I, I feel any matchup against Mario if you're not if you don't know what you're doing especially with Master Mario it can end very quickly and it can be hard for Wolf but uh, Charlie's a good enough player that he's able to use these uh, spacing tools to just keep Mario out uh, like we saw earlier with his fair uh, the thing about Wolf's fair is it's a lot like a uh, Marth or uh, any of the Fire Emblem characters uh, sword move in that uh, their forward air in that the move starts up at, at the top and it uh, swings downward so you can kind of sneak underneath the move. Anyway, uh, Charlie, I love, he's just spinning around at the edge here. I don't really know what he's doing. Maybe it must be mind games or something, but uh, Maybe styling a little too much. He needs to get his head in the game here because he's just SD. <laughs> no, he's going to keep dancing around. Uh, this must be some kind of mental games here. Uh, he, he sort of used that to turn around and catch the roll earlier. He might also be trying to just bait something out here with it. And snipes him with the blaster there, making it fast to unable to recover. Okay, tra Nair trading with uh, Uppy there. Now that Uppy does have iframes on it, but the, it's only on the, the opening frames of it. So the fact that he caught it in the air meant that it just traded. Laser. Looks like it when the two players kind of read each other retreating and they both go in and just cross each other up. Master angling that shield upward, most likely trying to get an up B. Catch a landing, something like that. Okay, here comes a grab. Charlie's lucky he did not get hit more there. He's gonna land that nair. Oh, he went for the back air there, tried to call out his movement, and he's going to live from that, but, um, you know, that was a uh, big damage from Mario Massa there, and uh, again, oh, he made that up up smash lead. That was really good from Charlie. Yeah, just catches him dropping shield there and takes a stock. Very close game, and win winner semis coming with Charlie and Master Mario here. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, thanks. What's up, brother? What's up? Anthony. Anthony, I'm Jack. Alex Anthony. I was listening to the stream and it seemed like you needed some water and a commentary. <laughs> That's great. I appreciate it. Yeah, no doubt, bro. Who won game one, Charlie? Was it convincing? Uh, it was pretty close, actually. Okay, cool. He, just, he got a kind of lucky up smash out of shield mm. and uh, closed it out. 
But yeah, last stock. These grabs coming in from Master though. Oh my god. His F smash reads are always so on point. Yeah, it's I don't know how he does it. He is the master of Mario. That might be part of it. Okay, gets the up smash at the ledge there. That I mean that that covered roll and uh, neutral get up there. Actually, that probably hits up high enough that it covers jump as well. Yeah, if you're gonna drift in, if you do like a bit, probably like a, Mario's not the kind of character that would drop down and then do a fair, but like a Samus type fair might get a little bit by that. I've seen Master sometimes go for an air, like drop down an air. What a YOLO option. Yeah. <laughs> That's just kind of the kind of player that uh, Master is sometimes, though. Okay. Yeah, gets the down throw to the back air there. And wow. snipes him out Beautiful. with the fireball. That was really good. And that was crazy there. He just parried the up air. I think that that wouldn't have hit normally, but because of the increased uh, hurt box size from the shield, mm. he was able to get that parry. Um... I want to say that wasn't intentional, but Charlie is like a lab monster, and it's entirely possible he was working that out already and knew exactly how that was going to go down. I always assume it's intentional from top players like this. <laughs> Guess you got it right. It's just part of that top player play privilege. Yeah. Off of one grab. One grab. That's Mario for you. That was a bit of a greedy up air when you're facing the other way. Just the grab the back row. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thought really was, struggling to make it back. I thought he was going to go for his down tilt back air, which is kind of his like patented ledge trap option. Finishes a lot of socks that way. Yes, he goes for that very often. Just tries to catch you sleeping at the ledge, that uh, the, your invincibility is lowered as you get right, higher stock. Right. So your pressure to pick an option faster. I think it's one of the one of the best changes they made into Smash 4, and it's really good that they kept it into Ultimate, mm -hmm. because it makes those ledge situations very tense, especially at higher stocks, or uh, higher percents, and, and as the game gets towards its conclusion. Right, when you're gonna add something like trumping into the game, you do have to change things up a little bit. Yeah, definitely. I, I always tell Melee players that it's like a lot of what happens, at least in when I was talking about Smash 4 and that came out, a lot of the the interactions that are come out of the ledge options, you know, the ledge trapping is such a big component of Smash 4 and the, by extension this game. I think that's pretty much why we played with two stocks for four years. <laughs> Mass is turning off hot again. Yeah, he does. He's he's a very momentous place base player, and he, he can just get that one grab it against you at the beginning of the game, and then you know carry that momentum through the rest of the match. Definitely noticed that. Yeah, I like these. Nairs from Masto because even though he's getting these trades, he's still at a pretty sizable lead right here. Masto, uh, Mario does not struggle to find kills, especially Masto, who's just able to make those F smash reads. So if he just needs a little more percent anyway. Charlie's trying to keep him on the ledge, but yeah, it's still working for him. He just can't quite find the kill. Yeah, and now it's Masto's turn. More back airs. Yep, just uh, tries to catch a jump or something. Goes for the snipe again. Charlie does not get hit by it this time. Backer, that, gonna kill? I think that's gonna kill. No, no, not, no yet. not yet. Oh, that's, oh, that's yeah, the double flood. No one expects it <laughs> the second time. Wow, there is just such a. You never think it's gonna hit you. That's not how it does. Yeah, I believe it's one of those multi-hits where the last hit is the biggest hit. Mm -hmm. And then it also has that landing hitbox as well. So, like, he was in the air right there when it clipped him, but it catches people on the ground often as well. Mm 
Nesta was hunting hard for that F smash read, but wasn't able to get it. Now he's kind of moved on to a different strategy here, getting that up air. Oh, he goes for the. Uh, oh, did he really he kill off the top? Wow. Off the top with that. I think uh, Charlie had some words for him there. <laughs> mm. I wonder if that was DI related or if it just happened to be the percent that it kills at. It must have been DI related because he's carrying him off. Uh, with the up air chains at about that percent and it hadn't killed before. But maybe it was just a little higher. It is Smashville. Yeah. Tom no, not happy about that, but he is happy about that. Okay, up air. Yeah, Master keeps trying to make something happen off of down throw, but every time he goes for up throw, he always gets like, you know, a four piece. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that going for the same thing every time in this game can sometimes uh, yield less results. So I like that he's mixing it up, but Charlie's just not biting. Definitely, definitely fair. Down smash. Back air out of shield here. Charlie's recovering low. Master, yeah, goes for the back air. Yeah. I knew, we all knew it was coming. Wow, just hung on a little too long there. Yep, and... Uh, Wolf can do the same thing to you too if you're like, hanging on the ledge too long. Quite a hill for Charlie to climb. We know he can do it, but Wolf just doesn't have that like he needs a few openings to make it happen. He can't just make it happen off of one, just one grab from Mario. Puts math at a two to one lead. Yeah. I mean he he's gonna he's not the kind of character that's gonna, gonna steal a lead from you. He kind of has to work at it for a while. It's like you, you, it's, it's I mean, a lot, it's a reason why a lot of sheep players play this character, right? It's a very solid neutral, and uh, you just kind of have to continue to out neutral your opponent long enough to bring yourself back. And that gets hard when you're at higher percents, too, because if even if you don't get hit with, like, a kill move, you get sent off stage, you have to you get put in disadvantage, you have to make it through all that again, then you have to establish yourself all over again. It's not like Mario where he gets a grab and the game just shifts. Mario needs about like, like three grabs and then you can die. And Wolf needs maybe four or five openings and then you can die. But against Mario, it's hard to get those openings. Yeah, with his, his frame da data and aerial drift. And a good Mario player is always going to keep you guessing. What are your thoughts on the uh, Smashville for three games in a row? Especially after. It kind of seems like Charlie's been getting a little. I mean, you said game one was close, but then massive one. Two and three pretty convincingly. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard to, to, to decide which stage you want to go against Mario. Of, you know, all of them benefit him so much. Mm. Uh, I think maybe... Wow. I'm point. sure Charlie has thought this out, and I know he was messing around with Mario for a while. He was thinking about playing the character. Oh, so I'm sure maybe he feels like Mario's combo game is not as strong as it would be on PS2 or... Um, and right. the other platform stages like Battlefield. You definitely don't want to take them to Battlefield. I do wish we knew what their uh, bands were. Probably bands Kalos and Town or FD maybe. Yeah, I don't think you would, you would want the uh, FD if you're Mario. That's definitely probably my first band if I'm Master. Charlie maintaining a pretty good lead here. Yeah, I mean, he's gotten hit a lot, but he hasn't gotten the hit that is the most important <laughs> Mario. Like, very good job at holding on to this stock. He's going to get back thrown here. I think he's still going to live, though. Yeah, I mean, it's all about the calculated risks. Like, he went for something a little risky there, knowing that even if he got grabbed, he wouldn't get killed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, like, deciding whether to hold shield. The way that you said a lot of uh, Sheik players have gravitated towards Wolf, uh, I believe it's true. I find, personally, Wolf to believe to be a bit of a hybrid between Sheik and Ganondorf, just the way that he hits and the power and the weight and then the combos that Sheik used to have. Yeah. Yeah, I, I believe you're a, you're a Ganon main in uh, Smash 4. And no, Greninja. Oh, Greninja. I thought I'd play before. Uh... Anyway, here, yeah, Charlie's really turned this around. Um, 
he's got do this. I mean he got grabbed once. Yeah, and I talked about this earlier. It's like once you get grabbed once by Mario, it's very easy for him to get another grab on you. All you have to do is really catch your landing. Right, he just needed to read one option there and that extended the combo from forty percent to about eighty percent. Double dash attack into the laser. Okay, just hold the shield there, very patient from Charlie. Uh, was that his jump? Doesn't matter. Do you think we're gonna go back special for game five or one full switch? Um, I think Master's definitely thinking about it right now. It looks like they are going back. I don't know how often this takes place, but when I when I watch streams very often, in my mind, it's a pride thing at least some percentage of the time. Like they're just like, all right, well, I won here twice, and it doesn't matter. Yeah, definitely. I, I think I would think if Master would want to uh, switch it up on Charlie, but yeah, it's possible. It's a try pride thing. You know, I feel like. Charlie's been wanting to go to the stage. Uh, obviously, he wants to go to the stage for a reason. This guy. Yeah, the bears. <laughs> I mean, that's what Master does. Really, I, I've been such a big fan of Master since I started watching him for years now. He's just always been such an impressive player. Yeah, he does bring a lot of hype with this character, and uh, I love to watch him just make those crazy uh, F smash reads. That's, they're just so explosive and just like. Whoa, whenever one of them happens. Yeah, it's awful being on the receiving end of it. Oh, I imagine it is. I'm trying to land on the platform, but Charlie got that scouted out. Yeah. Oh, this is a low recovery. Yeah, he needed to chuck out another one there. If he wanted to take that stock, but. Big commitment there. He's wanted to charge flood, maybe cover something else. Yeah, second back air there. Mario can do that twice, which is ridiculous. <laughs> it is because wow. it pressures your shield so much, mm -hmm. um, and it it has virtually the no lag. Wait, and there's a in this game. disjoint on the tip of it if I remember correctly. Yes, yes, you are. Wow. I I took a look at that because I didn't believe it. I know he extends his hurt box. But uh, actually, it is disjointed at the very end of it. <laughs> Which is just funny, but it's good for Mario. Yeah, good, good for him. Wow, Charlie. We're happy for him. Yeah, yeah, I like the, the use of the Nair there. Tries to catch Master just trying to drifting in, but Master actually goes way over it. That does really just seem to be Charlie's neutral, like kind of short hop there, short hop there. Try to base something out, but they're both playing so patient. Yeah, well, I mean, last game here, nobody wants to go into losers right now. It's crazy. This is the this set in winter semis. Like we still have Razo and uh, Cryo coming up. Didn't Razo lose? To, oh, that's uh, right. He did. I just, I forgot, that's right, he lost rival. it to Rival. This is a beautiful show, I'm very happy for Rival, he's a great player. Yeah, yeah, that's that's great, I hope he makes it on the BR after that, a win like that. Wow, alright, so here it is, so I would say it's one exchange from even, maybe one and a half, depends on if he can read the extension. Couple up airs, mm. see that's where he needed to convert again. Yeah, this is what we talked about. Like, it's hard for Wolf to make the comeback, but it's easier for Mario. So much easier. Okay, gets the landing up there. Again, that's another situation where Charlie's lucky he did not get hit more, but he's wow, going to get hit a lot here. This guy is just so good at the game. <laughs> 150 here. Master here. He's at the ledge. Oh, he's gonna get grabbed though. And it's one edge guard away from the win. Wow, he oh. went for it all. <gasps> oh! He steals the game. Wow. Master Mario. What a he got great. Got clipped with 